what's going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing weekend today i'm gonna be talking about a penny stock that has a lot of volume as we speak and i want to share that with you and on top of that heavy hitters such as vanguard and morgan stanley have invested in heavily and i want to share that with you as well to learn more about this penny stock stay till the end of this video with that let's get started welcome back guys thank you for watching this video i know this is your weekend i'm sure you guys are relaxing and spending quality time with your family but today if you are here for the first time and if you gain any value in this video please do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out great videos that we post on a daily basis i'm sure a lot of you make good money on friday it was a very good day personally gained more than three thousand dollars in this public portfolio if you see on ciiv we made almost $1,000 on Friday. Overall, we made around $1,200. Jumia, we made $671 on Friday. Overall, $1,500. And last but not the least, this is another spec that is governed by Foily. I am highly interested in this one. They haven't found a merger rate, even though we made around $427 on Friday and a total of $518. These were our top three stocks on Friday. Friday has been a very good day for this public portfolio. We have been consistently growing, which is a 27,000 growth since we started this account. I make videos about it every single day publicly so anybody can relate to it. I have another personal account that I update on a daily basis. The reason I'm not showing that here is because I've been investing there for more than six, seven years and it won't do justice. Today, the penny stock that I'm going to talk about is ticker symbol ATOAS Atosa Therapeutics. It is a clinical stage pharmaceutical company which focuses on the development of novel therapeutics and delivery methods for the treatment of breast cancer and other breast conditions. It offers two main diagnostic tests, FORCE CYTE and Argus CYTE diagnostic test. The FORCE CYTE test provides personalized information about the 10 years and lifetime risk of breast cancer for women between the age of 18 and 65. The Argus CYTE test offers information to help inform breast cancer treatment options and to help monitor potential reoccurrence. So this company has been in business since 2008. The reason I want to talk about it is because of two things. First is it has a lot of volume, especially if you are a swing trader. We know that most penny stocks are booming. I personally do not recommend anybody to buy penny stocks because they are very dangerous investments. At the same time, you can make good money from it. That's why if you are now well experienced, very good risk tolerance, you can potentially destroy the portfolio you have been building. Most of the time what I do is between 5 to 10% of my investment is going to be in this penny stocks, OC2 stocks, in case this is going to be a major breakthrough. I do a little bit of research on that. It could happen, it might not happen. For example, there are a lot of great companies that started as a penny stock. I'm sure you guys remember NEO, right now BNGO, a month back. I bought BNGO, a turnout pretty good and I sold most of it on Friday because I never had a goal of holding BNGO for a long term. So when we talk about Atosa Therapeutics, I have seen a lot of big hedge funds, asset managers buying into this penny stock, not selling most of their shares. That is what actually grabbed my attention. If you see the volume, it is 41 million. The average volume is usually 8 million. This is almost 5x its current volume. I know the company is now profitable. But it looks like they have a very good products on their pipeline that is heading towards commercialization. If you see the institutional holdings, 18 holders increased their position by 445,000 shares. Three holders decreased their position by 20,949 shares. New positions added by 14 holders. Sold out positions are zero. Big asset managers like Vanguard, Morgan Stanley, Renaissance Technologies, Goldman Sachs, you know, all these bigger companies have a stake in this company. That is a very good sign for the company. Let's see some of the pipeline products they have and what solution they provide for this industry. As we speak, the companies focused on breast cancer and Roni Rona. So let's quickly go through their clinical summary. Positive phase two results are provided on April 2020. Phase two studies underwear in breast cancer. Phase two for breast cancer density. Monography adjuvant plan for Q1 2021. Maybe this could be the catalyst that is grabbing a lot of attention from investors. When it comes to Roni Rona, they have two therapeutics programs, nasal spray for home use and inhalation therapy. The two Roni Rona programs are on phase one and the breast cancer program is at the phase two. 
they have an oral product called Indoxfin. They're going to be transitioning to phase three very soon in this quarter. And after that, they're going to be very close to commercialization, provided that they got the approval from FDA. Let's quickly see the market opportunity. We know that Roni Rona has a lot of cases worldwide. Maybe this could be one product that facilitates the end of this pandemic. But when we come to their main product, oral endoxfine, 39 million people per year do mammograms. Mammogram is an x-ray picture for breast cancer. Doctors usually use mammogram to look an early signal of breast cancer. And 200,000 people goes to ER for breast cancer per year in US. If this product becomes successful, I'm sure they can be able to expand it in different countries from parts of the world, in Europe, UK, Africa, a lot of places that can be benefited from their program. One in eight women experience breast cancer, 276,000 women diagnosed in US this year. This is the second leading cause of cancer death in American women. So how does their product comes to play? So it looks like their product reduces KI67 tumor activity. KI67 is a protein and high KI67 indicates more aggressive cancer and the lower it is, the better it is for surgery even removing the tumor. Their product at the window of opportunity resulted 74% of overall reduction in KI67 activity. All patients had greater than 50% reduction and all patients have less than 25% of KI67 at surgery. I think they tested the product in the range between 16 to 40 days, an average range of 22 days. So far, they haven't seen any safety signals. I'm sure you guys can come and do your own profound research. I'm just quickly sharing based on my understanding and based on what they have presented. So there are a few upcoming milestones. The first one is Roni Rona in Q4 and regulatory approval to open a study. I think in Q1 of 2021, they're going to initiate another study. And they already launched the phase two oral endoxine study in Q1 of 2021. This could be one of the reasons why there is a lot of momentum going on around the stock. But like I said, do your own profound research if you want to invest in this company in the long run. They have $9.2 million in cash. They recently did public share offering. That's why at some point their stock price dropped to almost 80 cents. If you see a month back, they were trading almost at 88, 89 cents. From that, they had a very quick run up. In the last one week, the stock has grown by almost 48%. In the last one month, they have grown by 128%. So far, analysts gave them 100% buy rating. Two analysts predicted the stock is going to be at $7.50 at high, average $6.25 and low is $5.50. From where this is, which is $1.80, even if it goes to that $5, that is almost a 250% growth. For example, yesterday they filed a prospectus of selling up to 10 million shares. Maybe all this volume we're seeing could be a positive or a negative catalyst. But if you see people who are selling their positions, are very weak compared to people who are buying. I see a lot of green and very small amount of red. That is an indication that the sale volume is weaker and the buy volume is much stronger. But Monday morning, we're gonna see how this is gonna play out. I personally got a chance to do research on it today. So I'm not gonna say, oh, this is the next bingo or this is the next revolutionary biopharmaceutical companies. All I am doing is kind of bringing facts to you this could help you reinforce your research. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and smash that like button. With that, I'm gonna see you on my next video.